Good evening, everybody. You may be asking, my goodness, what is this I'm looking at? Well, I am about to show you. We are inside of an old Baltimore streetcar. Is this cool or what? Look at this. Now, I don't know exactly how this worked. There was your, uh, that was the, uh, whatchamacallit, to open the door, which would have been right here, but it's, the door has been long removed. Um, to ensure driver's vision, passengers must stand behind the white line. And here's, look at the mirror there. So cool. So friggin' cool. Anyway, um, tonight I do have a passenger. Sir, where would you be uh, getting off this evening? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you'd like to take me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> uh, so here, back there is, uh, looks like all the seating. Is that the seating back there? I think so. Yeah, it looks like it. A huge tire. Um, so maybe we can take a stroll back there. So I'm, in. I don't, I'm pretty sure this is a Baltimore streetcar and not from another state. Because it could have been brought in because the, the streetcar museum is right up the street. So it could have been brought in from, from another state. But I, I think this is a an old Baltimore streetcar. And this floor here it is not that steady. But let's go up here and have a look at some of this. Sorry, I'm taking the light. Just want to make sure I don't fall and kill myself. Okay. So here are some of the... Uh, The seating and stuff. This is so cool. And up there would have been like, I guess, the uh, either instructions to get out of the bus or maybe where the where streetcar was going. This was probably in operation up until looks like the 60s or 50s. You see the colors and stuff. Not quite sure, but a very cool sight. He'll do another peek up this way so you can get a look this side. We don't miss anything. And this was car 8491. And there's a no smoking sign right there. So awesome. Let's get a look at the outside of it. Okay, so here is the outside of this old streetcar. This was a streetcar, see? See that? So it was a streetcar. But uh, it has seen better days for sure. I mean, this thing has been totally, looks like it's been actually stripped for parts. You can see, but um, Look at the old red light there, like when it would stop, so people would know. The other one's missing. And we'll go over here and look at this. This is an old bus. It's only half of a bus. The front part is not there anymore. But, uh, still probably interesting to look into. You can see this. <laughs> The steps are gone, so I don't think we'll be doing too much inside, but let's... Oh, it's easy to just get in here and have a look. Here we go. Look at all that uh, fiberglass. Not fiberglass, what do they call that? Insulation. Fiberglass in insulation? Is that what they Yeah. I think it's made of fiberglass. I just call it insulation. insulation. Anyway, I don't know why these two 
things are sitting down here. I don't think they're going to be restored, but they may be using... Just where they keep them? Yeah, they may be using it for parts for yeah. the stuff that they have down here. Down here, down this way, is where the museum is. Here's an old bus door or streetcar door. Not quite sure. And this right here is an old... This, I guess this looks like to lift or haul something off of a train. Maybe somebody watching knows what this thing is here. You can see it's on tracks. And uh, another cool piece of machinery. So anyway, just wanted to bring you guys down here and show you this. I thought it was pretty cool. It's weird how that over there looks like a person. Yeah. Doesn't it? There was, you know, while you were filming, there was a person coming down. I was like, oh god! But then they went somewhere and they disappeared. Great. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, everybody have a great night. Hope you enjoyed this video.